What's up? I'm here, Jordan. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a proper YouTube thumbnail in less than two minutes. The video is more than two minutes, but once you do the things I show you, you'll be able to make a YouTube thumbnail in less than two minutes. Trust me, it's easy. I'm gonna be using a program called Wondershare Photo Fire. There's a link in the description if you wanna sign up for the free trial, or you can just purchase it. It's not very expensive. Wondershare is sponsoring this video, and they sent me a free copy of this software, and I am just blown away. I always use Photoshop to make my thumbnails, and I am legitimately going to start using Photofire to start making my thumbnails. It is so much faster. Let me show you what I mean. First thing's going to happen when you open the program, this is going to pop up, see? So we're going to go to the photo cutter. Um, we're just going to pick a normal one of me here. Just sitting right here in the office. Wow, I look like crap that day. And every day. <laughs> what we're going to do is try and remove the background so we can have a great thumbnail. This is called the cutout area. You can also crop it too. Put it on 16 by 9 dynamics so it's the right size for YouTube, but uh, it's already that size. So we're going to cut paint areas to remove. That's what we're going to do. We're just going to paint this shit and get it out of there. Oh yeah, you like that? You see See how it just disappeared? Oh, the chair is still there. Get rid of that chair. Piano, guitar amp, all that stuff's gotta go. Now wait, you say. It did a pretty good job, but look, it cut out some of my hair and a corner of my sleeve. No problem. Watch this. Paint areas to keep on my hair right here. Paint on the corner of my sleeve. And watch this. Brings it back. And the sleeve is still a little bit weird right here, so what we're gonna do is make the brush a little bit smaller and just zoom in. Keep what we want to keep and just cut out what we want to cut out okay and there we go not bad right oh i didn't mean to do that so you know what i'm just gonna hit undo easy also redo save print and this thing right here you can share your photo directly to facebook right from the editor pretty sweet we can also edit the edge blur here but i think four pixels is about right so we're gonna leave it now we're gonna do photo montage which is where you can put your cutout on a different background which is what we're gonna do for the youtube thumbnail there are plenty of backgrounds for you to choose from that are included but uh you can also do custom ones and that's what we're gonna do we're just gonna grab one from my youtube thumbnails background folder yeah i don't know that looks good we will crop this a little bit see how my i'm cut off at the bottom so we'll just like crop it like that boom there you go I can actually move myself over oh no see now that we have it on the thing see i actually cropped out part of my glasses by accident no problem we can fix that real quick and there we go we can rotate this and do move it around do whatever kind of stuff we want well i kind of like that rotated and zoomed in all right sure why not we'll put it off to the side like that i guess another cool thing is that at the bottom I haven't talked about this, but at the bottom, you can just scroll through the different photos in that folder, which is cool. So now we're gonna save it. Save. So now we can close this and open the photo editor. First off, the filters look amazing. This photo was not even very good quality, <laughs> actually, that we're working with, but it's fine. I'm actually gonna do side-by-side -side mode so that we can just see some of the filters and how cool they look. They have a whole black and white section. Ooh, I like that. Wow, that's really cool. That's just a filter. My photo is a little overexposed. So we're going to go over here to the adjustments tab. Here's the brightness. Just adjust that a little bit. There we go. Shadows, highlights. Oh, actually that helps. Taking the highlights down a little. And then of course change the saturation. Why not? Let's make it a colorful thumbnail. We can crop here again, but we already cropped everything the way we want it. There's all kinds of frames you could put on. Very cool frames and, and stuff. But for this thumbnail, I think we're not going to use a frame. Then there's the thing called textures and overlays. Watch. Aren't these cool? More effects like film effects, see the film effects? Some of them are really subtle, which is cool. It's good that they're so subtle. This one looks like I'm on a piece of paper. There's over 200 photo filters, over 80 templates for frames, and over 40 overlay effects. There's even different blend modes for this. It's the same filter, but different blend mode. Like, see all these different blend modes? It's, oh my gosh. I can spend all day messing around with this. But stay focused, we're trying to make a YouTube thumbnail in less than two minutes. We're gonna click here on the text tab. So we just select the area we wanna type in, drag, and there we go. Okay, you know what I'm actually gonna do? I wanna fill in the background with white. Make it look a little bit more official. There we go, and see how it locks into place so I know that it's centered with the word YouTube above it? Great. In under two minutes. For that, we're gonna use a different color. Fill it in with blue, that's a good color. Can just resize our box a little bit the way we want it? Yeah. Zoom in and place it right there. Boom, that looks about good. YouTube thumbnail in under two minutes. Save this guy. But there's some more really cool features about this editing app and I'm gonna show them to you right now. We're gonna close out of that and go to the photo eraser. Do you ever have a picture or use an app or something where there's a watermark on it and you're like, dang, how do I get this watermark off? I'm gonna show you right now. I'll just use a sample photo that they have. So we're gonna start by removing the Eiffel Tower from this photo by going like this. Boom, erase. And now it's gone. 
And look, it filled in the background where the Eiffel Tower used to be, no more. You could do that with watermarks, even if they're semi-transparent. Any objects that you could want to remove, you could remove it. There's cloud here, fuck that cloud gone. But let's say we like the cloud. In fact, we want another cloud. All right, we're going to click source point. Okay. And that's going to be our source point. Now we can click somewhere else and look, we have another cloud. We have more clouds and then we could change the edge blur. Went a little too much on that. So let's like do a little bit better. Oh no, there's other stuff that we didn't mean to get in. You know what? Let's erase it. See how it's blending in better. Select this stuff. Get rid of that. We don't need it. So yeah, that's some other really cool stuff you could do with PhotoFire. It comes with all this just by signing up for the free trial. It's a great way to edit photos, make thumbnails, even restore old or damaged photos, especially with this erasing and cloning stuff. There's just so much you could do with it. It's incredible. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. And if you decide to get this and make some YouTube videos or, or upload them or anything, let me know. I'd love to check them out. And uh, good luck everyone with everything. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.